we're going to now do our circumferential well i guess they're called lines as well but we're going to do our measurements for 25 millimeters here we need to mark this point here 15 here this point here 20 for our saddle and then 10 for the end but if you if you notice here you have a dead zone here okay so the reason they do that is because every soap is a bit different one might be 83 one might be 84 they're pretty spot on but this also gives you kind of a buffer right here this zone right here is not marked it doesn't matter what you put in this zone it could be three millimeters it could be 25 well maybe not because that'd be too too much but it could be um it, there's no range as long as you have this distance is actually here. They're not going to mark this distance, okay? They're marking these measurements right here. So let's make those measurements. So yeah, as I said, the reason that you take the backing off of your um, off of your ruler is because, well, you want it to be flimsy so you can actually make these lines. So let's do that. We're going to go from one end, and obviously we have to go from the end that we decided to... Um, to work from, so this is always our reference end. So we're gonna line this up. And we're gonna measure, since the first one's 25, obviously 25. Let's take that, measure down, 25 right there. Put a little mark right on 25, okay? Now from 25, what's the next one? 15, so we're measuring to 15. 15 millimeters from this point, that's five. Here's another 10, right there. Now we need 20 from this point, right? So let's measure 20, right there. Okay, now we're done with that side. Now we know that this last measurement is a 10. Let's start at the end here. 10 mils in, it's right there. A little mark. Now our circumferential lines are marked, so where we want them. Now I'm gonna show you how to actually draw them out here. So let's look for our little notches. One, two, three. Okay, you hold it like this, tight in your hand. So at the base of this ruler here, you want this to be flush. And as you move along this ruler, you also want it to be flush. By having it that way, you're, you're, you're gonna be more accurate because if it's offset like this, if it's flush at the base, but it's offset, that's pretty exaggerated, but you get the point, right? If it's offset at this point right here, you're not gonna have a perfect circular, and you're not gonna have a perfect um, circular marking. It's gonna be off. So as you're going around, make sure the whole thing lines up perfectly. I like to just pinch it like that. Make sure this is flush all the way down the side. You're gonna look for that mark right there. Okay, you're gonna go on the outside of the mark just slightly, just slightly. Because your pencil should be super sharp, so you can actually just put your pencil right in that mark and it fits perfectly. Then you're just gonna go all the way around, okay? All the way around. that and then I, I like to spin it so I can finish it off because I don't like writing from or uh, carving from underneath like that spin it around finish it off like that okay we have our first circumferential line there we go we're gonna double check it like super fast 25 does it say 25 good okay moving on next it's the 15 Okay, so make sure that these two ends are flush. Kind of go like that. There we go, that's flush. Find the notch that we made. Oh, it's right there, look at that. Just outside of it, just barely on the outer border of that notch. I'm gonna fit this pencil right inside the notch and go around. Spin it so you can finish it off.
there's our second line. Is that 15 mils from the first? It is. Good. Where's our third? It goes right here. Let's do that really quick. Just on the outside of that little notch and all the way around. All the way around, you're gonna spin it so you can finish it off. All the way around, good. Now the last side here, we're gonna finish off this last side. We have one more circumferential line, as we can see. We just did 25, 15, 20, now we're doing this last portion, 10, right? So we have a bit of this, we have this triangle going on here. Not completed triangle, but we have these two ends coming together here, 13 mils each. So let's do our last circumferential line and then I'll show you how to mark up that triangle really quick. So again, make sure these are flush. You want that to be a perfect circle all the way around. Just barely right on top of that notch. And all the way down, spin it around. And I want to stress the technique here really quick. Okay, there's that, okay. So, the soap sits like this, okay? We have 25, we have 15, we have 20, we have a no mark zone, doesn't matter what this is, and then we have 10. Okay, since this here is a no mark zone, you can get really good at making this just barely half a mil in, because then you have a buffer, okay? So if this is half a mil in and you cut right there, well, this is going to be 19.5, okay? But that's not what it should be. It should be 20, but the thing is, if you did make a mistake, you had that you have that half mil buffer to correct yourself. If you carved half a mil outside and this is 20.5, you can't add soap. This marking would be wrong if it was 20.5. You can't add soap to that. Right? If it was 19.5, you could simply do another cut and shave off half a mil, just barely right here. And the same goes with this side, okay? This distance is 10. This distance here is not measured. So if you did 10.5, well, you can't add soap, right? You can't add soap to this area. If you did 9.5 right here, just give yourself a teeny buffer to make sure, then you can just go back and shave it down half a mil. Okay, so that's something that I would do. It just it, What it does is it, it adds a buffer and it makes you, it's like, it's like a secondary act to make sure that you're safe with your measurements, okay? Because if you went over, there's nothing you can do. You can't add soap. And this point is not measured, so it really doesn't matter how big, how long this point is right here, this distance.